Hello everyone, welcome back to Write and Down. Just before we kick off, I've learned via the Discord and the chat with the devs over there that there is a daily mode coming, which I'm very excited about, so we should be able to get a little bit more variety and change things up in how we go about our adventures. But for today, we are still trying to get through Dungeon 9 with our curse, where if we stand still for too long, we do get wrecked. With that in mind, I think last time we were playing the Black Wizard, and I had been rotating through all of the characters, but we did a slightly shorter one recently for the Black Wizard, because it's just like a lot more mental work, just going, make a decision, make a decision, make a decision. So, I'm going to play them again, because I do think that Black Arts is going to be a way for us to progress forward. And I'm going to go Cursed Armor again, give me the extra max health, start with some keys, Give me max health here and give me XP there. Right, let's get ready. So you'll see the slime climbing up my portrait as I now try and just gently navigate through all of the threats in the history of the world. Typically, just trying to get through the early game until we kind of bulk up a bit after the burn goes, then we have a slightly higher chance of making it through to the mid game. But we might get through a couple of these early starts here. This is not great. We have one HP and we cannot heal for 18 more moves. All right, busted. Go again. Snowland, not so bad, I don't think. The giant potions don't help me, but I will attack the guy with 6 HP as the safest way through here. Right, safe paths. Give me a key. Give me all this armor. Give me that armor and that armor. Just trying to supplement whatever I can before we can heal ourselves. So our spell will make one item with uh, coin, health, or armor worth eight more. We just have not had the opportunity to get it to pop off yet. How about this? Great. That will keep me alive for one more room. Then if we can get through here, which we can... Do I want this? You get 15 armor points at the start of each campsite. I will take that. We get to set a campsite. So now we actually have the ability to heal. Now the burn is gone. Give me all this armor. Then I will take this blindness. And we can hop into the void. made all of our armor cards larger. I'm going to fight the guy that gives me more confusion, because confusion is generally the easiest thing to deal with. Which way round do I want to go? Alright, that was a 10 coin card, so we can definitely afford to buy something. What's this? You get two armor points after you battle on a void. I'm not that invested, if I'm honest. There's ten more cash. So we are loaded right now. Uh, you randomly kill one enemy if you are poisoned. I'll go for some of that. And then we'll go down. Make that really big. What's this? You add three gold coin cards to the deck. You add a three gold coin card to the deck of all future levels. It's 
still have seven gold. Uh, Beholder is just bad things. Oh, jeez. I panicked. I panicked, and it's gone badly. Right. Give me all of that armor. Beholder does eight damage. Gives us eight of each status, but they will be gone by the time we get through this camp. We just have to get through this camp. Blunderbuss or Enlightenment. I'm going to take the Blunderbuss. Then let's take our option here. Forest or the Dark Place, the Wasteland. Let's go Forest. So if we're poisoned at the start of each level, we randomly kill something. That's good, but it's not enough reason to just take extra poison, I don't think. There's this. Your max health is increased one when you move down onto a potion card or a poison card. Very, very specific difference there. Let's see, does my max health go up? I can't even see it. Eight more confusion until we find out. We did kill one thing there, though. Um, let's go right and shoot something. Gives us an out. Very nice. Uh, going right again would shoot something, but I think going down is just safer. We are not currently confused. Let's take our giant armor. 56 armor is a great place to be at this point. Uh, fancy stone, you get one health point when you move down. Absolutely. You are not confused. I'm going to take the 11 damage because I only have two keys. I would like to maintain a buffer of keys as best I can. Love that that one got killed. That was a great one to get killed. Especially because now that we're not poisoned, we're leaving the forest, so we don't have to worry about being poisoned at the start of levels to kill something as we enter the forest. We do still have the timer to worry about, though. All right, I will take the big armor card. And then let's go... Yeah. Uh, I would like that arrow, please. And I can also afford whatever this is. You add one point to all potion cards when you move to a potion card. Sure. So the arrow, whenever we move right, is going to shoot all the things to the right of us. Let's... Oh, we can afford this as well. Oh, God. Movement, movement. What do you do? You add one point to all potion cards at the start of a level. What do you do? You randomly kill one enemy at the start of each level if you're on a forest level. All right, we're more invested than ever than going to the forest. Give me armor. Give me more armor. I have loads of keys now, so I can afford to cut through there. Straight across that top line. Give me armor, more armor. Do I want this? You inflict two damage points to all enemies when you move down if you are blind. Can't afford it anyway. Don't know what I was worried about. Right. We want to be burnt when we get to the boss. That will cause us to take less damage. So let's take armor and armor and armor and burn kill the dragon. Camp with equipment. You inflict two damage to all. You get ten health points. You get ten health points if you are blinded. Um, I think we can make generate health probably work. 
Give me this big cache, then get me confused, take me to the forest. So, forest, we randomly kill something if we're poisoned, and we randomly kill one thing when we get here. And that is poison based as well, I think. You inflict five damage points to an adjacent enemy in the direction you are moving if you are poisoned. Um, Alright. I thought I was confused. I am not. Never mind. I will take all of this cash. Thanks very much. What is this? Do I want it? You inflict five damage points before a battle if you are poisoned. I'm not that invested. Thanks. I will take the six health instead of the one gold. So much stress. Okay, let's get poisoned and shoot something. Um, I don't need this giant thing. You get two points after a battle in the forest. You get ten health points if your health is low. Couldn't afford it anyway. I don't know why I keep thinking I can afford these things. Oh no, I did buy the green necklace. I'm just confusing myself in a hurry now. Do I want this book? You get one health point after each movement in a forest. Sure. Then we can shoot that guy on our way across. Level 25. No boss here. Those are only on the 10s, not the 5s. I'm going to spend a couple of keys to cut through. Uh, no, let's go. I will lose 25 health. Or armor. Go through there, save the key. Back to the rest zone. Down. You get eight armor points when you buy an artifact. Blue necklace. Right, let's take a giant armor card. I will take blindness and then go to the void. We only have room in our cabinet for one more type of item. We are now confused. 16 armor card is great. When we were blinded, we were moving down and making those armor cards bigger. Still confused. Let's go all the way across. Uh, okay, let's not. I need a, a bigger klaxon, a big alarm when we are no longer confused. I think we're doing okay for health and armor right now. Uh, can I afford you? I have no idea. Kill one more enemy if we're poisoned. We're really invested in being poisoned at the start of levels now. Big heal is lush. Max HP went up as well. Uh, Beholder here. Not my friend. There is all of the status effects once again. All of our stuff frozen as we come into... This space, we have randomly kill one thing on a wasteland, absorb five health points. Give me that big coin card. Then give me more confusion and, oh god, forest or wasteland. Forest. We have lots going for us in the forest, I just can't quite remember what it is. Give me the healing get all the way to that bottom row we have bought your max health is increased one when you move right into any trap card so now only items that we possess will spawn as tiles in the dungeon floors we visit which is its own kind of problem I'd like to pick up some poison. 
I think. There's some. No idea how many keys we have. We are no longer confused. Uh, we can afford to take a chunk of poison. So now two things will die randomly. Three things will die randomly at the start of this floor. Which is massive for us. I'm going to go around all of this stuff. Can't afford the book, but I will take the experience. Three more kills. We're going to camp, so I don't need to get more poison right now. Could not afford a second set of fangs. Giant armor card is lovely. Do I have a preference of volcano or Iceland? Not terribly. Let's go... Volcano then. Our max HP is up to 72, which is not a bad place to be. We are not confused. Let's take that fight and cut through here. Alright. Um, paths. Safe paths. Remotely safe path at all. Love the extra key. We can step to the right. We can shoot something immediately. Except I think this is much better for us. Let's make this a giant coin. We've picked up another alchemy set. Add one point to all potion cards at the start of a level. So that will now be two points to all potion cards at the start of levels. I got no qualms with that at all. We can afford another one of these things. You randomly kill one enemy at the start of each level if you're in a forest. Alright, we're still not healing for 25 actions now. It's quite a lot. Here's a boss. The burn is going to get us through that dragon a lot faster though. Which is no bad thing. Our armor has all but entirely been wiped out. Loads of XP. Randomly kill one enemy. You get five armor points. You get ten armor points if you are frozen. Give me... This and poison. And I think I want wasteland. Do we have a skill about blindness? No, I did not take that. Uh, let's please get to that bottom row. Still can't heal, so I don't want to attack the enemies in that bottom row. Seven more till we can start healing. Uh, we will attack here, then go right and right. Waltz around the remaining foes. We can heal again. We are very nearly dead, though. If this is two enemies, we got problems. Blindness is not an enemy. Healing. Let me go around them. Blindness. 18. We can survive. Uh, armor is a preference over cash. We have five keys, so I'll take the healing. Level 45. Give me the potion. Uh, 32, 28. Okay, that was close, but we made it. We are blind. We get another new unlock. You add one point to all potion cards when you move right. I'm not going to worry about the cash. 
Um, we want forests. We like forests. Forests is actually an incredible place for us to try and do our last five. We are also no longer blinded, which is lush. I actually kind of want a bit of poison moving forward. Because we kill like three or four enemies. Right from the off when we do that. Uh, I'm going to take this just so I don't have to do those fights there. This is good. Um, right, I think that's us absorb some health from stuff. Uh, let's go poison some more. We can get through here nice and safe. 49. Safe paths. This looks very safe to me. We're going to be poisoned at the start of floor 50, so we will get the benefit of stuff being killed immediately. We want to kill the worms on the way. And that is a 20-minute win. And I think we lost one earlier, so... Victory! Congratulations, you've completed all of the dungeons. Alright, I call that a massive win. That is a level dungeon level 9 victory with one of the six characters. I will try and do a level 9 victory with all of the characters. It might take me some time, we might have to do some restarts and figure out some new strats and stuff. As well as mentioned at the top that we are going to get some dailies going forward. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.